Hey everyone, this is Sam with Team 4 Flight. Today, I want to give you some quick tips on how to set up your iPad or iPhone to get the most out of 4 Flight Mobile. First off, you'll want to disable automatic App Store updates so your device won't start updating an app just before you go to the airport or at another inconvenient time. You can do that by going to the Settings app, selecting iTunes and App Store in the left column, and deselecting Updates in the Automatic Downloads section. After making this change, you'll need to remember to periodically check for app updates by opening the App Store and tapping the Updates tab in the lower right. Next, ensure that ForeFlight Mobile always has access to your GPS position by going to the Privacy tab on the left and tapping Location Services at the top of the list. Make sure that the Location Services slider is green, and then tap ForeFlight in the list of apps below and tap Always. You'll also want to make sure that ForeFlight Mobile displays your GPS position on the map while it's receiving that information from your device. Scroll to the list of apps at the bottom of the left column and tap ForeFlight. From here, you can access all the settings you'd normally find within the app in More Settings. Scroll to the Preferences section at the bottom of the list and make sure Enable Ownship is set to Always. Scroll back to the top of the ForeFlight Settings page and tap Notifications. Make sure the slider to allow notifications is green, and select the manner in which you'd like to receive notifications from ForeFlight Mobile. Enabling notifications is especially important if you regularly use the app to file flight plans and have a pro subscription, as this allows you to receive important notifications regarding flight plans you've filed. Finally, when you're ready to go flying, you can swipe up from the bottom of the screen to quickly access switches for Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, and airplane mode as well as the screen brightness slider, and on newer iPads, the screen rotation lock. In iOS 8.2 and later, turning airplane mode on turns off the Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, and cellular data, but leaves the GPS on. If you're using a Stratus or a Garmin flight stream that connects using Bluetooth, you can then turn Wi-Fi and or Bluetooth back on to enable that connection. Configuring your device with these settings will allow you to get the most out of ForeFlight Mobile and ensure the smoothest flight planning and flying experience. If you have any questions about how to set up your device, feel free to send them to team at ForeFlight.com.